it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we are going to be redoing my studio kitchen in Portland like Mr. Kate. Not completely like Mr. Kate, but you get the idea where I'm kind of putting my own little twist on the kitchen and making it more homey and more me as opposed to what I get with the apartment. This is the first video of me decorating my new studio apartment here in Portland. If you're excited to see the rest of this series where I do my bathroom and then my little alcove living room, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss it. Without further ado, Let's go ahead and start transforming my kitchen. So I wanted to just give you the before of what my kitchen looks like. As you can see, it's a very nice kitchen. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but there are some things where it could have a little bit of tweaks to make it a little bit more homey and stylish. So it fits me. So one of the first things that I wanted to do with the kitchen was to give the kitchen a backsplash. I feel like giving a kitchen a backsplash really makes the kitchen stand out more and it gives it a little bit more character and design to it. So this is what I'm gonna be using for the backsplash. I got these off Amazon and I think they were like, I wanna say 15 or $19 for 10 packs of these or not 10 packs, but for 10 sheets. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is stick this on to the backsplash. It decided to come out, and what's great about these is that they are renter friendly, so I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on. I did buy three, I may not need all 30 pieces, so we will see what's left over. So I basically just had to stick it onto the wall, kind of align it on. There were times where I messed up and I had to start over. I definitely recommend getting some help, maybe having a friend or a partner help you out with this. I think putting on any kind of like contact paper or adhesive stick-ons on a backsplash requires two people. So it didn't come out as perfect as I want. I also didn't have my screwdriver to take off the electrical outlet plates, but I was able to work around it and I'm really happy with how it came out. Is it perfect? No, but I think the kitchen already looks a lot better with that backsplash and how it stands out. Another thing that I wanna say with these backsplashes is that they are completely renter friendly. So if you have a really ugly apartment kitchen, backsplashes can really transform an ugly kitchen into something that looks a little bit more modern. The next biggest thing that I wanted to do with this kitchen to make it more me and to fit my aesthetic, I'm going for this feminine chic aesthetic throughout my whole apartment, throughout my room, my living room, my bathroom, and I still want my kitchen to have that. So gold accents are my aesthetic. And I wanted to incorporate more gold into this kitchen. So I thought, how could I do that? And then I took a look at the cabinet knobs. While there's nothing wrong with these knobs, they're actually really nice knobs. They are very modern and up to date. They're not gold. So what I did is I ordered the exact same style knob as my kitchen off Amazon and I got them in gold. And they were about $28 for a pack of 10. And so a great thing that you can do with your apartment kitchen, if you hate the knobs on your handles, you can easily replace them. It's very renter friendly. All you need is a screwdriver to just unscrew the knobs and replace them. But make sure you save the screws and the knobs because when you move out, you will have to put them back on. I know that's a ton of work, but if you want your apartment to look like how you want it to look like, in the meantime, the tedious work is necessary. So I just replaced the really nice silver knobs with gold ones, and I feel like the kitchen looks a lot more elegant and a lot more of that feminine chic vibe that I was going for. I think knobs can really transform cabinets in a kitchen, so if you really hate the knobs in your kitchen, Look at Amazon, take the measurements of the handles on your kitchen knobs and see what you can find that will work. I think it really just makes the kitchen look a lot better. So I was absolutely happy with how that turned out. And I think it took me about 15 minutes to screw them all on. One of the main projects 
And let me tell you, this was a project. I don't have a lot of counter space. I don't have a lot of cooking space. I ordered an island from Ikea. The island at Ikea is around $400. I think it's worth the money in my opinion, but oh my God, it was not easy to build. Not only did the wood snap of like the back board, but even in the front where I could put stools, that part didn't install correctly either. It's still stable enough to the point to where you can place things on it, you can eat at it, and overall, I'm still happy with how it turned out even though I didn't set it up correctly. It is missing the top shelf, but I am going to get some wood glue and some clamps so I can find a way to hack that top shelf and stick it on there. I was really mad that that back baseboard kind of cracked when I was trying to install that top shelf. Again, two person project. So that could have been on me, but I am single, I live on my own, I don't have anyone to help me. And another thing that I did to make the kitchen island look a little bit better to kind of match the kitchen was that I took some white contact paper that I got from Amazon. It's nice and shiny and glossy. And I basically, I just stuck it on the top and then I took like a little credit card to smooth out the air bubbles just so it would match the white countertop that my kitchen already has. So that's what I did and then I painted the edges with white paint and primer so it would all look more cohesive together and it still looks really good. And so once I got the island built six hours later, it needed bar stools because the island is not only extra counter space for me to cook when I do it on a rare occasion, but it's also a place for me to sit. As you know, studios don't really have a lot of space. I personally didn't want to put a table in my apartment, so I wanted to use the island and kill two birds with one stone. So what I did is I wanted to add some really cute blush pink velvet bar stools that I got from Amazon. I believe they were around $120. Again, I will have them linked down below in case you're interested in getting them. They're really cute, really good quality, and they were not that hard to build. I think it only took me about 30 minutes to build them up and it gives the kitchen a nice fun pop of color. I really like pink and gold. I think it's a really nice color combination. Those are like the accents of what I'm looking for with my kitchen. I think they look great with the island and amongst the gold handles on the cabinets and plus also totally approves of them. Now I have someone who's gonna join me when I eat breakfast or dinner every single day. But we're not gonna just stop there because we still need to put the finishing touches in this kitchen. So first things first are the countertops in the back. So what I did, I took this cute little fake succulent type plant thing that I got from Target as much as I'd love to have real plants, I don't trust myself because I know I will forget to take care of them. So fake plants it is. I thought having a nice fake plant on that back counter would be really nice. And then getting some gold accent. And then for all of my utensils, I found this really cute gold container at Target. If I can find the link for it, I will put it down below. And I thought this would be perfect to put next to my stove and put all my utensils and to give it that gold accent. Another fun thing that I wanted to do with the kitchen was to place a ceramic coffee jar to store my coffee. I want to get better at putting my dry goods into storage containers and jars to have that more fun Pinteresty kitchen organization effect. But right now I'm just going to start off with the countertop and just put my coffee in this jar. It's really aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Super cute, I got it from Target and I absolutely love it and it looks so good on the countertop. And then for the island, I needed to put some fun pieces on there. So I have this cute gold bowl that I got from the Dollar Tree. Super cute, oh my God. Shopping at the Dollar Tree, by the way, is super dangerous. And I can use this to put my bananas and other fruit in there. The flowers that I had from my bedroom, those pink and white ones, they're completely fake. I wanted to put that in my kitchen because again, I wanted some more color 
in the kitchen and I thought it would look really great against the blush kitchen bar stools so I decided to transfer my fake flower pot to the island in the kitchen and then I also have this fun little decorative thing I don't know what it is but I got it from Target I thought it was really cute and I thought you know what I'm just gonna put it in my kitchen just for some extra decoration another fun thing that I got from the dollar store that I wanted to put underneath the gold fruit bowl is this cute little cutting board um, that's all wine themed. I thought it was really cute and I thought I would just have something to put underneath the fruit bowl in case any messes occur. So it will go on there and not the island. And then for a final finishing touch, I took some cute pink kitchen towels from Target to put over the stove to give it that final touch. So are you guys ready to see the final product? Remember what the kitchen looked before. There was nothing wrong with it originally, but it just needed some tweaks to make it look a little bit more warm and homey. chic kitchen that I've always wanted for myself. Is it completely Mr. Katified? No, but I feel like one of those home interior decorative YouTubers would still be really proud of this upgrade. I think it's a total transformation and I'm really excited about it. So if you like how this kitchen turned out and you learned a couple of fun renter friendly hacks that you can use if you hate your apartment kitchen. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I hope my next project to accomplish is my living room, which is technically right behind the kitchen island. So be sure you stick around. And with that, I will see you in my next video in this series. Bye.